Absent. Rhythm. Monitor shows normal sinus. Electromechanical dissociation. Causes? Cardiac tamponade, hypovolemic shock, pneumothorax, deranged electrolytes, drug overdose. Trachea, shifted to the right. Findings on percussion and auscultation. Hyperresonance and absent breath sounds on the left. Left side attention pneumothorax. Ventron, please. Pulse. Lab present. That's it for this week. Next time, Mr. Smedley will take you through blunt abdominal trauma. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Mr. Reese. Well done, mate. If only he was so able at making up chemotherapy. Ward round at 2.15. I'm particularly keen to get an ultrasound on the chappy with right upper quadrant pain. I just knew Miss Wright would come along eventually. <sighs> Severe abdo pain cubicle four. <sighs> Doctor's here, Michelle. Hi, I'm Mr. Smedley. Thank you. Let's see, just take it easy. When did the pain start? Last night. <laughs> Pethidine, 75 milligrams. Metoclopramide, 10 milligrams, please. Mm. I'm giving you something for the pain. Exactly where does it hurt? All across the bottom of my stomach. Okay, down or sharp? Sharp. Is it anywhere else? No. Does it come and go? No. Does anything make it better or worse? No. Sorry, chap you saw earlier. You didn't write him up for a tetanus. Okay, if I give it a new sign later. Sure. Shh, that's it. Take it easy. Yeah. Okay. Any nausea, vomiting, change in bowel motions, change in appetite or weight? I feel sick, but I haven't vomited. Uh, when was your last period, Michelle? A few months ago, since I came off the pill. Might you be pregnant? I might. Just try and take it easy and I'll be back in a minute. Could have some action in there, Julie. Could you chaperone, please? Okay. Cot death inbound, CPR in progress. Thank you. Um, I was thinking that maybe you and I could go out for a drink later. Oh. Well, I'll, uh, I'll have to check. I've got no other prior engagements in my diary. Oh, Ernest, don't be such an old stick in the mud. Don't you see it makes perfect sense for you to move in with me? I mean, um... My cottage is a lot cosier than that lonely old house of yours. Yes. It's just that Mary loved the place so much. I never thought either of us would ever leave. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be insensitive. I'm, I'm sorry. Not at all. Oh, I'm sorry. I do hope I'm not interrupting, Mr. Doherty. I just wanted to let you know that my blood test has come back immune hepatitis B. Oh, that's excellent news, sis. Oh, you must be so relieved. I am. Anyway, I just wanted to thank you for all your support. My pleasure. Morning, Phil. Hello, Jackie. Has being a celebrity changed your life, then? Ah. <laughs> Are you OK doing the ivy? What, in case I kill another patient, you mean? Phil, I'm only trying to be helpful. Well, I'm sorry. It's just people looking over my shoulder the whole time. Makes me... Look, I'm sorry, Jackie. I know you're only trying to help. Quick, Jax, it's on. The people who say that there's no Hang crisis on. are the people who do not work in the real NHS. I've been in nursing for 20 years. These fat cat hospital managers haven't spent five minutes on the wards. Sister Landers, Ward M. I just said the truth, that's all. I told them what Are you a great? I could yeah. not believe it. Yes, yes. Can you come with me, please?
Your observations are a distortion. They bring this hospital into disrepute. You are suspended from duty, effective immediately. What am I charged with? Oh, we haven't decided yet. Try and relax, Michelle. It'll soon be finished. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. There we go. I'm concerned that you may have an ectopic pregnancy. That's where the egg implants in the fallopian tubes instead of the womb. Yeah, I know. I've heard of that. I'm getting a gynaecologist to look at you. You may need an operation today. No. I'm sure everything will be all right. Look, if you've got no proper business on these premises, I'll have to ask you to leave. Is there really such an atmosphere of intimidation in this hospital? I'm just being seen talking to you can cause us trouble. Now, please leave, miss. Straight through the resource. Where's Pete? Not here yet. Julie, can you find Arms and Gods for me, please? OK. Sister Julie Novak. I was wondering if anyone would like to comment on the suspension of Sister Jackie Landers. Sometimes I think the people that run this hospital have no more idea about what really goes on than the generals had of life in the trenches during the First World War. The baby's just gone through to recess. Officially, they can't discipline us for speaking out. This is a significant pneumothorax, Andrew. I can't see why you elected for conservative management. Carry on, would you please, Claire? Yes, Dr. Turner. Phil. Nothing serious, I hope. Aspirate the pneumothorax. You wouldn't mind doing that, would you? Why? Personal reasons. What, you're having an affair with the patient? <sighs> HIV or hepatitis? A doctor refuses to do a procedure involving a sharp instrument inside a body cavity. The doctor must fear passing on a blood-borne virus. Have I an HIV contact? I'm awaiting the result. Claire, I'm not joking. It's not that, it's just that, um... You've got to admit, Andrew, God seems to be missing the toilet and hitting you instead. Yet one bit of nookie, you end up a passenger on the fatal retrovirus express. Don't take up smoking. One dragon, you'll be riddled with cancer. Constant whispers, jibes about killing patients. It gets me down. This must be a terrible ordeal for you, Phil. You haven't told anyone anything other than the official version of events, have you? I've lost count of the number of times I've wanted to. You haven't, though, have you? Dr. Tanner. I thought we agreed that this was between us alone. Yes, of course, Phil. I'm sorry. I just wish they'd hurry up and make up their minds one way or another. Yes. Now, this may sound silly, but you know this cricket match we've been talking about? I wouldn't be a bit surprised if getting together a team of juniors to take on the consultants didn't take your mind off medico-legal matters. Give us old duffers a good thrashing, eh? Now, if there's anything I can do for you, Phil. A dozen red roses, please. Uh, no, no, no message. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Alice. Is the telephone keeping you from your bladder? Ah, uh, no, no, not at all. Well, was it anything important? Uh, no, no, no. Just an addition to my uh, outpatient uh, clinic. <laughs> Isabel. Would you contact Mr. Tennant, secretary, and arrange an appointment as soon as possible, please, regarding the suspension of Sister Landers? Oh, I wouldn't advise you to do 